Okay, I'm a little off center. But there's a good reason for that. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, bear with me. I am sharing this and uh, I am a little behind, so uh, I apologize. Oh boy. What the hell? I'll share with them. Oh, yeah, I'm going to share with them. Oh, excuse me. God, that's rude. Okay. Eric's going to yell at me. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That I'm not prepared. Ooh. I think I know what I'm doing. By now. And my computer is hissing at me. But that's okay. It can, it can take it. <laughs> God. I, I'm in like... I, I swear. I'm in way too many friggin' groups. Ridiculous. Anyways, welcome to this uh, special Halloween edition of Dresden Draws. Um, I'm going to have my phone here for uh, some of the night only because... Whoa, what's going on here? I uh, No, that's not... Yeah, okay, there. There we go. Whew! Yeah. Oh, it's been a week. I've been sick. I've been well, and, um, you know, it's, uh, <sighs> things have gotten better. They, uh, they, they kind of can't get any worse, so I'll take it. And, um, and I'm here in, uh, in my parents' basement. I have not moved back home. Don't worry, I didn't lose my apartment. I would never want to lose that apartment. Actually, I would at some point, but, well. <coughs> so, you might be wondering, how, uh, how am I going to do Dresden Draws without my big, powerful computer? Well, I, uh, I will show you. As soon as this thing... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I hate when this happens. Oh, there we go. So, uh, this is what I'm working on here. Let's do that effect a few more times. Uh, this is my dinner. And, uh, that's my laundry. And that's my reference material, which is about, oh, I'd say 15 feet away. Don't you just love that hissing sound? And don't you just love that I'm just kind of like, you know... Whoa, man! That's crazy! This is a uh, brand new kind of Dresden Draws. But, I digress. So, uh, let's get out of here. Let me blow my nose. Hi, Jay. Hi, Tony. <laughs> I had a cold this week, can't you tell? <coughs> yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. The cold the cold was 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 horrific. So as uh, you may or may not know, what the heck? Uh, this week's Dresden Draws involves Universal Monstars. Unfortunately, um, I could only allow voting for one of them this time. Which is fine, because Phantom of the Opera is, you know, the 
original OG Universal Monster. Although, if you want to be historically accurate, that honor would probably have to go to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, which was made by uh, Universal when they were IMP back in 1913, I think. I think it was 1913 or 1912. Uh, Tony, or if Eric Grayson sees that I shared this in Dr. Film and wants to correct me, by all means, please do, because... You know, I uh, I tend to get certain dates right, but I sometimes get them wrong. So, lay into me. <laughs> lay into me if I'm wrong. Hi, Sebastian. I didn't even eat dinner yet. So, the next two minutes is going to be me eating a veal chop. Because I'm starving. Holy snap. Hmm. Let me take a swig of this. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. So, I mentioned that there would be a surprise. A, uh, a surprise drawing that I'm going to do. I might end up redoing it depending on how well it comes out on this tablet. And I'm going to blow my nose again. I was told today to never get old, but quite honestly, that statement is BS. I'm going to give you all some advice. Get old, but don't get sick. Don't doubt doctors. Take your meds. And while things may not be perfect, they'll at least be a little bit better off. Know what I mean? If you don't, that's okay. Hopefully you won't have to learn the hard way. But, <sighs> anyways. Hi, Sal. By now, everyone is probably thinking, is there going to be some drawing tonight? Or is Rich Dresden going to sit with his his uh, button down open and, uh, you know. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, um, even before I get to the drawing. This is extremely important. Tomorrow night, MCON's annual Halloween party at the East Meadow Public Library as part of the East Meadow Public Library Anime Club and MCON, which I've done, and it's fantastic. It's run by Kelly Gordon, who is sitting here when he has... So many, so much better things to do, and I appreciate him, uh, you know, dealing with my BS right now. So, yep, I I was, and I'm getting the last of it out of my system. So, anyways, little bit of background. Excuse me. <laughs> It was a cold. Now it's allergies. Anyways, MCON's annual Halloween party starts at 6 p.m. tomorrow night at the East Meadow Public Library on Front Street in East Meadow, New York. If you can make it, great. If you can't, we won't hate you. But you should come if you can. Because you're not doing anything better on a Friday night. You should be at MCON. Buying my stuff. I feel better now. So, anyways, 
spreading my germs. Yeah. I, I'm going to spread some very specific germs for you, pal. <laughs> I love you, man. So anyways, a little background on what we're drawing tonight. The Phantom of the Opera, the one portrayed by Lon Chaney Sr. back in 1925. Which is really the beginning of Universal Monsters. Universal remade the film in 1943, and that version is terrific. But the 1925 version is the one that's been burned into people's memories the best. Because... I mean, aside from the fact that it's a cluster of a movie, <laughs> in some respects, um, Cheney just makes it all worthwhile. And he was the winning candidate, and the, uh, the surprise um, drawing is actually not a universal monster, but it also kind of paved the way for future monsters. I wish I had all the time in the world, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to make this a six-hour episode because then it's going to take forever to upload to YouTube. So, that being said, what am I going to draw first? Nosferatu or the Phantom? Oh, I spoiled the surprise. Nosferatu, Count Orlock, from the 1922 classic by F.W. Murnau, the silent film masterpiece. Nosferatu is the surprise character that I'm drawing. And you know what? I'm going to draw his ass first. And uh, you're probably waiting for some music, right? Right, of course. What's up, sickly? Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know if you want to... I don't know... I, I, I mean... Quite honestly, I have no qualms about getting somebody sick if they're asking for it. And the... Uh, pressure detection isn't working. Alright, now it's working. And now it's not working! <clears throat> okay, where's that stupid keyboard? There we go. Hi, Stephanie. Nosferatu is, like, the greatest vampire movie of all time. If you have not seen it, if you're into that Twilight garbage, then shame on you. You have not seen a, a, a true vampire movie until you've seen Nosferatu. Ein Symphony der Grants. A symphony of horror. It was unauthorized. It was made without the authorization of Bram Stoker's estate. And his widow, uh, whatever her name was, sued to successfully have the film removed from distribution and all prints destroyed. But of course, history knew, uh, no, it knew better, and the film was not destroyed. It was pirated, it was confiscated, of course, because, don't forget, we had a second world war. We 
figured I'd get this guy out of the way first. So I just... I wasn't ready to, uh... To draw Eric the Phantom just yet. And I, I know I know what my girlfriend's thinking. Would Rich want to go see Phantom of the Opera on Broadway? And the, the, the answer, my dear, is yes! Yes! I will do anything with my girlfriend. I do not like the way... I was gonna do some some weird like creepy stuff with his teeth, but no. keep it subtle. <sighs> yeah, he's got more of a rounded chin. Those ears, man. Oh, excuse me. I'm not used to uh, working at this angle. And you would think from all the years that I did animation, I would be used to something like this. And, uh, unfortunately, you would be so wrong. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love spooks. I mean, it's got, like, one of the greatest punchlines of early sound animation. What does a chicken say when it lays a square egg? Ouch. <laughs> I mean, what the hell would you say if you laid a square egg? Like, really? You know, who comes up with this stuff? The newest SpongeBob episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think they actually uh, filmed a... Uh, a, uh, I, I think they filmed a contemporary actor to, uh, to do the Count Orlock bit. Whereas in the uh, earlier episode of uh, Spongebob that you're referring to, um, they used uh, footage from the, uh, the Murnau film. Ouch is correct. All right, all right. He, he, did, he did say something like that. Supposedly there's a rumor, and uh, I don't know, anyone correct me on this. Any any of you, like, major uh, film nerds want to be like, you know, yeah, that's, that's, that's right, or that's, that's not right. Um, Count Orlock apparently... Does not blink. I mean, it's a little creepy. But then again, you know the uh, the actor who played him, uh, Max Shrek, and that was his real name. That was his real name, Max Shrek. Um, he was very much a uh, a method actor. He. Uh, did uh, a lot of research, you know, de depending on what you want to call research. I mean, it's kind of difficult to do research on a vampire, and um, vampires are fictional characters, but... Let's see. What was I what went down last night? I don't know, man. I don't know what went down last night. What? As long as, as I, as long as I 
walk through my front door, and the door's still attached. I don't give a damn what you guys did. But then again, I wouldn't let in anybody into my apartment anyway when I'm not there because it's my apartment. I can't believe there's seven people watching me. I'm so glad. I no joke. When I when I first saw this movie, um, back in uh, 2002, it was a Friday night. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was a Friday night, you know, it was probably one of those uh, rare occasions when uh, when my parents were going to be away, so I didn't have to argue with them about homework or any of that, because yeah, I was still in high school, and, um, and so I rented uh, this movie, and... Uh, Freddie got fingered. I know. I I, I, I know. I, I have terrible taste in movies. I mean, it's like, I will watch Bambi and Predator. <laughs> Modern day vampires are politicians, but we will not discuss politics on Dresden Draws because, oh, believe me, you know, uh, some of us share very similar political views. Uh, all all present company here. It's it's just I I I can't I I I don't I don't want to right right now. It's uh, and I'm not saying that you were uh, trying to start anything, Sebastian, because you don't you don't you don't start you don't start fights, which is great. I, I can't stand people that's that that just start fights. <sighs> I can watch Bambi <laughs> Big Flamingos back to back. Oh, God. Uh, and here I was thinking I was a sicko, but hey, you know. <laughs> Drawing two, we art together. I'm not sure if they had Max Shrek on lifts when, uh, when, he, was, when he was doing the picture, but... Um, but I do know that uh, that he was a uh, he was he was quite a tall dude. He was uh, somewhere in the realm of six uh, three, but that's nothing. Um, F. W. Murnau himself uh, could possibly have have played the role had he not found his vampire. Yeah, I think he would wear pointed shoes. Was F. W. Murnau was alleged to be between six foot six and about six foot eleven. I mean, that's pretty tall. I mean, I met Herb Williams of the New York Knicks back in the day, and he was six ten and three quarters. So, I mean, go go grab some measuring tape and uh, and figure that one out. I think my mother's here. <coughs> Bambi versus Predator. Oh, Sebastian, what was it that uh, that I did on um, Nerds of the Round? What was it? Uh, mashups that we'd all like to see. Uh, one of them was Indiana Jones versus Predator, and and my and my psychotic self was like Bambi. The Tick. No, no. Predator, The Tick, and Winnie the Pooh. 
I mean, try saying that five times fast. Predator, The Tick, and Winnie the Pooh. I mean, that is like... Like, you you need... You, you need help. I need help. That, that, uh, you need help status, if, if that's what you think up in your spare time. I mean, maybe not. Jackie Chan versus Godzilla. Dude, ba uh, uh, Batman versus Godzilla was, was due to, uh, to take place in the, uh, the 60s. Because, I mean, Batman was huge. Godzilla was huge at the time, and uh, there was a uh, a treatment that was, you know, copyrighted by uh, Greenway Productions, who uh, did the Adam West Batman, and uh, yeah, they were they were gonna do that. They were thinking of doing that anyway, and. It was definitely going to be, like, tongue-in-cheek kind of stuff. You can read about it on, uh, I think it's tohokingdom.org. Yes, Darth Vader with a Woody Woodpecker laugh. I was one of the things I am most proud of having done. Hang on, I'll be right back, folks. I think perhaps the best uh, the best line in Nosferatu is when uh, Harker uh, no Hutter first uh, is is uh, sitting at uh, at dinner in Orlock's castle and a uh, a picture of his wife Ellen kind of falls out <clears throat> and Orlock picks it up examines it and he's like is this your wife what a lovely throat I mean it translates into different uh, phrases in uh, d depending on uh, what dialect of uh, German I guess you're speaking but uh but that's a, a close uh, transliteration. The first time I saw the movie, it... Uh, I wouldn't say that it scared me so much as it just kind of creeped me out. Oh dear God. Alright, no more talk about mashups.
That's off the hook. Off the hook ridiculous. Curious, Nick, about uh, if you have any uh, questions as of late about uh, illustrating, because uh, you would message me a short while back something to do with. Uh, I think it was a blog post. I uh, hope that's going well, and of course, uh, my door is open if uh, if you have any other questions, and hopefully, I'll be able to uh, answer them. Let me just turn the uh, the music down just a little bit. All right. Hey, I mean, whatever ultimately ends up proving to be the uh, the best tool for you. I mean, I I know I uh, 
I gripe about it sometimes, like, I can't believe how, you know, some people still do all the ranking in Photoshop. Especially when it, like, is a habitual, like, ram hog. But you know what? It works for some people. It, uh, doesn't work for others. Some people are just resistant to it, and some people just prefer plain old pencil and paper. Oh, those, those, uh... Some of those people drive me nuts in the way that they present themselves. Like, they just fear digital. They fear digital so much that they start to hate it. And I mean, it's like, don't hate. We're all artists, you know, just, uh... Don't come off as a, as a jerk. like I finally am learning how to draw hands. And you know something? I feel pretty good about it. I I've been feeling very empowered as of late. You know, I'm not going to get overly personal, but, you know, my girlfriend is wonderful. Uh, we're going away this weekend. Uh, we're, we're stopping in Sleepy Hollow on route to um, Poughkeepsie. For Incredicon, which, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it better be good. I'm sure it will be, but, well, you know. I did a show last week, and I'm not gonna mention the name, because I don't want to be a sourpuss and ruin it for those who actually enjoy themselves. But it was really not a good show. Um, I also ended up getting sick, which is never a fun thing, because some people need to learn how to control their stupid thermostat, but, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just hoping that this particular convention, I think it's a, uh, a first time one, you know, it, it, it's being run by, you know, some really competent people, though, so, I'm at least, uh, hopeful, you know, for them in that aspect, I've done, uh, two shows with them, as it is, and, <clears throat> now I think I need to add some buttons. Oh, I'm watching my uh, things on my viewfinder. I don't want to spend an eternity working on friggin' buttons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat this a little bit. I'm gonna make a pattern brush. And, uh, come here, Mr. Keyboard. There we go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete this button might be wondering, why would I just do that? Watch. First, it's a line in the sand. I don't need a tour right now, illustrator. Thank you.
grab them both at the same time and and uh, not the result I was expecting. Well, you know what? Maybe I had it right the first time. Yep, that'll work. Oh God, I don't care what's going on on CNN. Politics is garbage. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's it, it's horrible what what happened to uh, the Clintons and the Obamas. That you know. <sighs> Let me hang on just a second. I have to. Uh, I gotta get something. I'm not mad at you, Hillary, don't worry. <laughs> You're good. Hang on. Now, let's see, what was I? Yeah. All right, here's, here's the thing. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I can accept the fact that there will be those who have political views different than mine and different from uh, people I know and care about very much. But I don't even know what the point of uh, me saying what I was what I was going to say is because we're always going to have crazy people out there that are going to take advantage of a of an opportunity to uh, whack somebody or make a statement. Uh, just to be heard. And you know something? Nobody should ever have to go to those lengths. But people do anyway. I don't understand it. You probably don't understand it. If you're a reasonable person. But I like my violence in movies. I don't like it in real life. I despise it in real life. I have never gotten into a fist fight with anybody. And I, I, I don't condone other people 
doing the same thing. I don't condone, you know, violence against a group of people based on their race, religion, political views, anything. Especially if they're wrong, but at the same time, you know, if they are wrong, they know what they're doing, you know, right off the bat. Or at least they should. Otherwise, they're going to learn the hard way. And that's, you know... Yeah, we, we kind of do need Batman. You know? <sighs> oh boy, I needed that. I feel disgusting. So, bottom line is, if you have something to say, try to say it in words. You know. Try to do it in the most effective way. And by effective, I don't mean mailing a pipe bomb to two former U.S. presidents. That is just, you know, regardless of what your personal thoughts are of them, they are human beings. They are human beings that have families, that have children and grandchildren. So, somebody could very easily do the same thing to you. I'm, I'm just saying, you know... Before you commit a violent act against other human beings, understand you're opening yourself up to the same kind of stuff. Bob Camp is watching. Oh, Bob Camp is amazing. Let me tell you something about Bob Camp. He's the uh, co-creator of Ren and Stimpy. Now, don't jump all over him and, you know, just... just just give him attention because maybe he doesn't want that right now. But Bob is a wonderful artist. He's been in the uh, the cartoon business for a very long time. And I, I love his work to death. And uh, Bob, if uh, if you're still here watching this, after having me uh, having heard me say that, I hope you're doing well. I hope Missy is well. And uh, uh, safe travels to whatever your next uh, show is. So, anyways, uh, enough of this, and, and, and enough of this, I gotta, I gotta get back to drawing, so here we go. I'm drawing, uh, Count Orlock from the German vampire classic, Notes for Ratu. I'm actually about to color this bastard. So, here we go. Oh, yeah, can I... I'm gonna need to put something behind him because I'll tell you right now, having all this white here just it, it, it drives me nuts. So we'll put some green. I don't know what we're gonna do about his jacket, but uh, excuse me. I'm tired of having hiccups. I'm tired of being sick. I'm tired of you know. I'm tired of being I'm tired of this. I'm tired of complaining. So I'm gonna stop complaining. That I'm gonna keep. Uh, Might do this up a little bit more and then make a print of it in a few months. I haven't even gotten to uh, Eric the uh, the Phantom yet, so. Now we're in, and Eric the Phantom has yet to make an appearance, and I, I chose a, uh, a pretty, uh, <laughs> a pretty, um, heady, uh, assignment for this, in regards to him. I'm gonna use the color of, uh, Lucky's shoes. I mean, the 
color of Lucky's fur. explosives to each other. It's totally, totally uh, normal, I guess. Disgusting. Whoever's doing it, shame on them. Even if it was uh, somebody I didn't like, still, I mean, people got families, so... Whoever, whoever's out there doing it, shame on them. selling some of them. There are uh, some drawings that I've done that I, I, I have to admit I'm not 100% pleased with. And as such, they uh, they don't become prints, and I've made prints that haven't sold. So, hey, it is what it is. You know, you win some, you lose some. What are you gonna do? This particular costume, if you've seen the play, if you've seen um, any film version that has a uh, ball mask sequence, which is legendary in the 1925 version, uh, chances are um, you'll recognize this as the, uh, the Mask of the Red Death. Phantom's signature outfit, as far as I'm concerned.
Lon Chaney did all of his own makeup. Music too loud. Okay. There we go. Can you hear me better now? I mean, honestly, I, I can't hear the music, so... One of these days, I'm actually going to uh, get, like, legit broadcasting equipment to do this with. Hi, Mom. I'm not talking to myself. I'm doing Dresden Draws. Have pleasant Dresden dreams. Yep. Yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I'm almost done. <coughs> I'm on my last load. For those of you just joining us, I am at my parents' house doing laundry and not in the, uh, the regular studio. Excuse me, I have to go off screen for a moment. I'm not in my usual space. I'm not used to, uh, you know, the layout of where I am. Just kind of going back and forth and back and forth. And then when I go to sit down again, I'm like, wait a minute, you know, where's... Where's this? Where's that? Where's my beer? What time is it? Where am I? Who am I? And where is my horse? <laughs> and after about two or three minutes of that, I go back about my business.
First time I saw the Lon Chaney Phantom of the Opera. Um, I was pretty impressed with it. It's just, you know, the number of times I've seen it since that I've become less and less impressed with it because of all I've learned about it over the years and just how Universal just went into panic mode about this film. They kept reshooting it they kept rewriting it over and over and over again. And even the finished product didn't satisfy them. And I mean, in some cases, they needed to make a big deal about it because they had so much money invested in it. And despite the fact that it grossed $2 million which in 1925 was needless to say good box office you know there are things that they took out and things that they put in that made no sense that made too much sense it was like why the hell did they put this in here this this is this is boring or you know what's this character doing here why is this guy built so high and he's only in like 10 seconds of the movie oh let's let's see if we can try to attract people who are fans of this guy because he was in Eric von Stroheim's greed last year or some garbage like that you know studios used to think of those things I mean I guess at the time who could blame them but at the same time it's like sometimes you just gotta take a chill pill but one of the reasons they didn't take a chill pill is because that, uh, that Rupert Julian guy. Oh. He was a nutcase. No, Phantom... Phantom isn't garbage. But, uh... But there are things that that they put in that movie and took out of that movie that, quite honestly, made perfect sense to take out of the movie. I can't remember them off the top of my head. Um, the Phantom of the Opera soundstage, stage 28 at uh, Universal City, existed until, oh, um, I want to say about three to five years ago, and then it was torn down to um, to make use of the land for uh, a new more modern soundstage the phantom elements have been preserved though at least as far as I know and uh, Bernie Anderson Jr. will have to correct me on that I gotta see how Bernie's doing you know it's been a while and uh, and Bernie is a hell of a is a hell of a composer. He's a great organist. 
and it's been a uh, it's been a hot minute since I've been to one of his performances. I'm gonna make it a point to uh, go see him. next time he's playing. Hopefully I will be able to go. That looks not like a skull. Ball mask scene in the original Phantom was filmed in two strip Technicolor. And uh, there were quite a few other scenes that were filmed in the process too that. Um, as of a few years ago have surfaced. That buckle is inconsistent with what I have here. The uh, the opening ballet depicted in the film was, was shot in Technicolor. The um, it was about 400 feet of film, which is maybe about 10 minutes if you play it at the right speed. That, uh, that was shot in the process. To what extent all that footage survives is a, um, a means of a debate. Universal ain't got it. Phantom, and I wish him well. He was a horrible Joker. I mean, I don't know what's going on with this new Joker movie. I'm sure Joaquin Phoenix is going to be um, adequate, but I don't know. I, don't, I, I, I really don't know how I feel about DC, especially since, other than uh, Man of Steel, they, uh, they can't seem to make a decent Superman movie. almost done here, so... Now you're probably thinking, almost done! Dude, you haven't even started! Oh, been at this for about an hour.
excuse me. Now we gotta figure this thing out. <laughs> That's probably the first legit skull that I've ever drawn. No, 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 now I'm just wasting time. Yes, folks, I did in fact just use my iPhone 6S as a straight edge because unfortunately um, there still kind of isn't a way to uh, guarantee, you know, drawing diagonally. And what can you do? I guess improvise. Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I need it in fine form.
back to the task at hand. What color do you think the Red Death is going to be? I love when I'm able to answer my own stupid question. Of course, he's going to be friggin' red. That would make sense, right? What color would you make him? Purple? Incidentally, the first time I saw... The 1925 Phantom was on a uh, budget DVD from uh, Navarre Entertainment, which, incidentally, was uh, was a division of Universal and a subsidiary of Brentwood Entertainment, which I believe is based in Brentwood, California. And the copy of the movie that uh, that Navari Entertainment showed on their budget DVD is, as I came to know, what you would expect from a budget DVD release. It looked pretty terrible. <laughs> My recommendation, if you want to see a decent version of uh, of Phantom pick up it might be out of print but uh, Image Entertainment's uh, 2004 Ultimate Edition release is pretty good and uh, of course Kino came out with a Blu-ray because of course Kino was going to come out with a Blu-ray version's probably good, but I sincerely doubt that it has the Lee Irwin uh, organ score, which is pretty damn good. If you don't know who Lee Irwin is, was rather, dead now, um, he was a contemporary composer of silent films. Meaning he played for silent films when they were in theaters. So he goes back a ways. And, uh... <coughs> Bernie Anderson Jr., who I love um, as a composer, uh, was a student under uh, Lee Irwin, as was Ben Modell, who is playing for Dracula tonight. Uh, the Universal Dracula. <laughs> yes, um, Dracula has no underscoring, so Ben is providing that at a show that unfortunately I was not able to go to. I, I would have loved to have gone because, quite honestly, I I'll bet I'll bet his score beats the pants off of that uh, that thing that Philip Glass did years ago. I I just could not connect with it. But you say theater organ music? Dude, I am... I am there. a stroke to this too, so it'll give it a little bit more uh, dimension, as it were. <laughs> we'll be here 
doing laundry for just a little bit longer. It's almost done. I actually didn't have as much as I thought I did. I am redrawing this, this crap. last and certainly not least after I get rid of the rough I gotta do this this uh, this this friggin uh, plumage thing which I'm kind of not looking forward to but I'll tell you how I'm gonna do it I sort of know how I'm gonna do it so I shouldn't say I'll show you how I'm gonna do it then. <laughs> I forget what color the damn thing was. Let me see something. Oh, it's red too. a star. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an art brush. There we go. Now, this is either going to come out okay or it's going to come out pretty effed up. 
and uh, I think I made uh, a boo boo. So let's see. Fingers crossed here, people. I need I need this. I want to be able to go to bed. Right and ooh, that doesn't look. That's sort of the result that we were going for, but. Uh, Just compare with my reference real quick. <laughs> you know what? Let's let's redo this. It's it's okay. Whoops. See if I can knock some more of this out. <laughs> well, it looks a little strange. I mean, it's the Phantom, but... <laughs>
know what? We're gonna take some of this out. No, 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 not you. You. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we don't need this. Well, maybe we do. I'm obsessing now. Ah. I had it right the first time. <laughs> and this crap right here can go take a hike. Shadows here. Phantoms and shadows. I don't remember the rest of the speech, but it's uh, something to that effect. And I have to blow my nose one last time. but okay. My last load of laundry is done. There we go. I think I'm cool with that. So here we go. Whew. Uh, that was something of a workout. Oh, that's right. I have to kill the music. Alright, so, um, a few announcements. Um, 
actually it would help if I uh, started bringing certain things up so that this way I don't have to go looking for them. So, this is going to be the last live episode of Dresden Draws until November 29th. Um, I am going to be taking a much-needed hiatus for two reasons. And the first of them, most importantly, is Luckyzilla number 10. Luckyzilla number 10 is due out December 10th. And as of right now, it is very far behind. Progress has been made. Good progress. But overall, um, it's about 30% done. Which for me, is kind of embarrassing. But it's got to be done. And I mean, taking a break Thursday nights, you know, to uh, come hang out with uh, with you guys and draw things I wouldn't normally draw. Hey, that's I, that's fun. I love it. But um, I need all the time I can on Lucky Zilla number 10. And the other thing is... I, uh, I need to fix a few things here and there. Um, and I need all the time that I can get to do those other things as well. I wish I could admit them publicly, but, well, you know, there's, there's a, there's a number of reasons. But, uh, I'm back to work, which is great. Um, I, uh... I got money coming in, even when it doesn't feel like it at times, because I look at my bank account and I'm like, Whew. yeah, but quite honestly, you know, I'm in a good place, I'm with a good woman, I have a great family, and I have a number of different means at my disposal to get things done, as it were. So, while I apologize that there will be no more Dresden Draws until... I, I shouldn't say no more Dresden Draws. There, uh, there will be no Dresden Draws until November 29th. But next week, to compensate for that, I did another uh, speedrun episode where I draw three different iterations of Woody Woodpecker. Now, that may sound anticlimactic, but take it for what it is. It's actually, I, I had a lot of fun doing it. That's going to be the 35th episode. Um, so, I'm really, I'm really, really hoping that I can still get Lucky Number 10 out on time. And there are a few things with, with that too that are complicated. But, just fingers crossed... And uh, for those of you that uh, that I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I happen to all the best, Nick. And uh, even though I'm gonna be busy as hell trying to jam out Lucky Ten, um, it will be worth the wait. I can't say exactly what I have planned for. What's coming up in Dresden Draws, but, uh, oh wow. Well, I definitely saved, uh, some fun stuff for the holidays, so, you'll see. In any case, uh, thank you for watching Dresden Draws. I hope you all have a very happy Halloween, whatever you happen to be doing for it. Uh, watch some classic horror films and uh, stay out of trouble and uh, don't uh, don't feed me after midnight
I know that's gremlins, but I don't care. And kangaroos are awesome. Goodbye. Good night.